My name is Paige Lee D'Angelo. I am 20 years old. I was born with two reproductive systems, two uterus, and two cervix. Does that mean that men can have two penises? Actually, yes. Growing up, I had very irregular periods. I would have two a month sometime. It was very unpredictable and very emotional growing up as a teenager. Besides that, everything else was pretty normal. I actually had no idea until I went to my first gynecologist appointment. It sounds like she has uterine didelphus, and this is a condition that develops in utero. Essentially, when you're a fetus and the uterus is developing, it starts by being two different ducts called the malarian ducts, and these are essentially like two tubes that ideally fuse together to form the uterus. But in uterine didelphus, those two malarian ducts do not fuse together and they essentially develop separately, resulting in two uteruses. Now, interestingly enough, these girls can also develop then two cervixes and even potentially two vaginas. And she had a very surprised look on her face when she was doing my examination. And I was a little worried at first, but she said, it's probably nothing. I just think you might have a septum. But just in case, I want to call for an MRI. A septum is essentially a flat of tissue that will separate the vagina into basically two compartments. Now in some cases the septum can be quite thick and in other cases it's quite thin and surgery can be done to actually remove it. But when I was getting the MRI the person giving me the exam gasped out loud. She was like you have two complete reproductive systems. Okay so this encounter actually makes me cringe a little bit and it's because of two things. First of all, I see patients who come to see me with various different issues that they have with their body. And one of the first things that I train all my staff on is no matter what you see when a patient, let's say, opens up their gown or shows us, you cannot react to it. There's no, wow, there's no, oh my God, what the hell is that? There's no, holy crap. <laughs> you really have to just not react at all because in general, Patients, they come in, they feel already self-conscious, and what they don't need is some stranger gasping at how they look. The second issue that I have with this encounter is that it sounds like the technician was giving the diagnosis to the patient. And in every hospital I've been to, that is a big no-no. It shouldn't be the technician who is giving the exam to give the actual diagnosis to the patient or to read those films. It must be the radiologist or the patient's physician to give the patient that information. A lot of people have questioned why I've gone public about something that's so personal to me. And honestly, I just believe that no parts of any human body should be shamed or hidden. I really commend this young woman for being so open and upfront about her condition. Uh, now, this is not a rare condition. It's just what I would say uncommon, about 0.1 to 0.5% of women have basically two uteruses. If you have sex with your right-sided vagina, but you're ovulating from the left side, mm. okay, and there's a septum that starts in your uterus and goes all the way down, there's no way for that sperm to get through to that egg. So here's a diagram of uterine didelphus so that you can see how it works. Essentially, you can see that there are two completely separate uteruses, there are two completely separate cervixes, and once again, you can get a septum that actually separates the one vagina essentially into two. Now, once again, surgery can be performed to remove the septum. So when we see women who have any kind of variation in their anatomy, there's always a risk for fertility issues. Women who have uterine didelphus aren't necessarily unable to have children. It just may make it more difficult for them to do so, especially more difficult for them to get into the second and third trimesters of pregnancy. Other thing that this increases your risk for is poor pregnancy outcome, okay? And what we're talking about there, okay, is you could have recurrent miscarriages. Mm -hmm. You could also have situations where you have second trimester losses, okay? Mm -hmm. One reason why women who have uterine didelphus develop miscarriages oftentimes in the second trimester is because of the limited size of the uterus. As the baby is uh, basically growing larger and larger, they hit around that second trimester and there may not be enough space for the baby as well as for the placenta to essentially develop that baby any larger. Well, I mean, currently I'm not trying to have kids, but 
when I eventually do, like you said, it, I have to be menstruating one side, I could probably plan that out or at least see. Now there's actually an interesting story of a woman who has uterine didelphus and she actually has developed an OnlyFans and has become a sex worker and she claims in articles that she has one vagina for her husband and the other vagina for work. And yes, both sides can actually get pregnant separately. I tell you, the human body is an amazing thing. I think the main message that I am hoping to share uh, with my story is just being comfortable and open and confident with your body. I really do commend her on sharing her story and being so positive about it. Uh, it's a great story about a woman who is persevering in the face of a kind of uncommon condition. Now speaking of uncommon, what do you think about a guy who has a 100 pound scrotum? Yes, his ball sack weighs 100 pounds. You've got to see this to believe it. And here is my reaction to his story. And remember, as always, to eat real food, use clean skincare, and auto-juvenate before you operate.